my beautiful dolls. Welcome to my doll palace. Today we're going to do the My Boyfriend Buys My Makeup Pack. Only for us today it has gone sadly awry. My boyfriend took a list that was supposed to go to Walmart with a nothing over five dollars tag and went to the Dollar Tree, bought what he could, and then stopped. So we're going to see what we can do with the few products he got. Let's just look. He got a Sassy Girl foundation that is too dark, an LA Colors pressed powder that is too light, hopefully mixing the two together we can come up with a decent shade. This LA Color eyeshadow, this LA Color eyeshadow, this Profusion Twinkle Twinkle Set. This Color Mate Black Eyeliner. And these three LA Color Lipstick Lip Gloss Sets. So, without further ado, we will jump right in. We need all the luck we can get at this point. So let's start off with the foundation. Now I did give him a full list, foundation, um, cover up, or foundation, concealer, uh, primer, eyeliner, mascara, the whole nine yards but he came back with this so when I went to do the nothing over five dollars I did not find a primer or a contour or highlight for under five dollars so for five dollars or under at our Walmart so I didn't get those either so I can't be too upset about that. Cause I didn't even find one that meant the challenge. This is my first Get Ready With Me fight video. Not that I'm going to label this a Get Ready With Me. Because I would not suggest using these makeup colors. And I really hope they do not break my skin out. Now, I make funny faces. So be prepared. Oh, I just said to break me out. Oh, it's cold. So, have you guys let your boyfriend buy your makeup yet? If you have, leave a comment below. Tell me how well he did. If you haven't, are you planning on it? Tell me how well you think you'll do. I really thought Jimmy would be better at it because of all the time he's been with me. I mean, I know he knows how to do it. He's been with me so many times before. Yeah, this is too dark. I just became three shades darker. Sorry guys, this is not the best setup. I'm afraid. But Jimmy is out of town at a drag race. We have those like every spring and fall in North Carolina. 
And right now they're having the spring set. Of course, they're having the spring one today, and it's 95 degrees. And just so you know, this is a real technique sponge, and I'm using um, pixie brushes. So I'm using drugstore brushes. No high-end brushes with my dollar store makeup. One of them is a wet and wild brush that I got from the dollar store. Actually, Jimmy's brother got at the dollar store. So I really like it. I want to go back and get some more before they sell out of them. Although, actually, Walmart had some of them. And they had them for like 88 cents. So, probably go back and get them from the dollar store. Before they sell out of them. Nothing wrong with getting inexpensive brushes that you can kill fast and not feel bad about. Yeah, that works. Oh, it smells like cherry. It smells like, like those artificial cough drops. Those wooden cough, cherry cough drops. That's kind of weird. Let's hope that dies down. No, it's going to be an interesting day of filming. I have like three other videos I'm going to film and I think this one will be the last one to go up because I'm going to get my um, description box hauls up first because I know I've waited an extra long time I just haven't really been emotionally up to doing much this week. By the way, I did not cut my hair. I just have it all pulled back so I'm not putting makeup on my hair. I figured makeup on my hair would be a bad idea. Not that I've never done it before, but I always pull my hair back now when I do my makeup. But I thought to do that in school, it might have been a little easier to get ready. Actually, I even use an Ipsy bag for my brushes now. This has most of my brushes in it. My Kat Von D brushes don't fit in it. So I'm not using them for this tutorial anyway. But yeah, uh, um, I really like my cavalry brushes a lot. I don't think I'm gonna try anything too fancy with the eyeshadows, just because I'm not going to. Um, and in the future, when I do get ready with me type videos, they will be sitting up. I'm just kind of stuck right now. And I really wanted to get this done while it's still relevant. Hmm. Let's see, we don't have a blush. Can we use one of these eyeshadows? Uh, I think we can. Let's try. So I think I'm going to try going in with this thing as a blush. 
might be not quite that dark, but let's see how it does with a brush. Okay, it's got quite a bit of fallout in case you want it to know. There we go. We have blush. The way I'm doing this is I'm figuring, you know, what if I were on a desert island and the only things I had are the colors that he picked out. And these LA colors were his favorite. So, I mean, they got some killer pigment to them. I mean, I've seen high-end colors, high-end palettes that weren't as pigmented. And there are the other pig shadows in that set. They are very pigmented. Now, the eyeshadow, let's try the Twinkle Twinkle palette and see what that looks like. They are really, really pretty shadows. Um, hmm. bottom row is the purple, gold, and champagne out of this. The purple, gold, and champagne. So those are really pretty. And I know a lot of people really like the perfusion cosmetics, so let's see what we can do with these. You may not have done too bad with dollar store makeup. So we're just going to take that white champagne color and go all over the lip, all over the eyes. That is an all over color. Not bad. And take the champagne, the golden color, and come into the lash line, come into the crease with it. That is not dark enough to be a crease color. Okay, it swatches better than it plays. Need a better crease brush. I can't find my good brush.
So we're gonna take a dark brown. And come into there. Okay, these slots much better than they play. So we're just gonna do a flat out Come in with that purple, across the bottom, yeah, okay, as you can see, that swatched much better than it the color payout is just not. Let's try this. Let's try applying that with the finger. Oh, yeah. All the difference in the world. And that is applied with the finger. Much better. So, go on with that. Let's go in. I'll take a little bit of this gold and just go up above that. And then take the lightest color and go up under the brow bone. Oh, that's pretty. I think. I think that comes out much better. And let's do that on the other side. It's hot in here, guys. It's weird to me to be doing my eyes with my finger. I didn't even do this when I was a kid. <laughs> I've always had brushes. So yeah, this palette is not something I would recommend. It um I mean it was only a dollar, so it is a pretty look, especially for a dollar, even if I don't ever use it again with a book. Where does her eyeliner go? You can't find the eyeliner. I'm seriously having technical difficulties today. So now we're going to apply eyeliner. It is cute that the eyeliner has a little mirror on it. Not a realistic mirror, but a mirror.
Oh wow, that's a hard brush. That is a hard plastic tip, not a brush tip. So, I'm just going to brush it across my lashes, see if I can make those a little darker. Since we don't have mascara, nope, that doesn't work. Oh well, it was worth a try. I'm not gonna attempt any kind of fancy liner because, well, that hard plastic tip does not feel degraded. Nope. not talking to apply eyeliner at the same time. It just trips me out. Those are my eyes. And last but not least, we have our lips. And what color lips shall we do? We have our choice of three colors. I think we're going to use this color. Let's see how this looks. Oh, it smells good. Pretty color. Nice and creamy too. Not a bad color. I'm not sure it's one I would have bought for myself, but it's not bad. Put the gloss over that. Ooh, the gloss smells even better than the lipstick. It smells like bubble gum. There you have it, our dollar store look. And this is the Boyfriend Boss Not Makeup. What do you think? Do you like it? Leave a comment below and let me know what you think of my, how my boyfriend did buying my makeup. He is going to do it again later and take it a little bit more seriously. And maybe, you know, make it to Walmart. And we'll see what happens. But honestly, as far as the pigmentation goes, in most of the shadows, at least the LA colors, it's really pigmented. And 
honestly, I don't think this look is all that bad. Um, I like the, other than the fact that the eyeshadow is not as pigmented as I thought it was, if it had that pigmentation, it would have been really good because they are beautiful colors. Um, he did good at picking out colors. So I gotta give him some credit. Better luck next time, Jimmy. Bye, beautiful dolls. Don't forget to comment, leave us a like, and if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Hope to see you at the dollhouse again. Bye, beautiful dolls.